All right, October 25th, not that date, October 25th, the 27th day of me recording in this series, and we're back again. I'm excited to do this. You see the hands. I am black in actuality. I don't know why the hands are looking a little different, but they're looking a little different this huh? All right, uh, we're going to do this a little quicker. Um, bear with me. This is my second time doing it like this, but I intend to build more on this, and maybe I could find different ways to do it. Um, it's just nice having the notes laid out before me. Without further ado, uh, the first note that I had for the day was a want to become more disciplined in prayer. Um, let me see. There is a verse that I have for this, and it reads Matthew 6, 5 through 6. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Now, I remember about February, March of this year, 2024, I was praying to have a stronger prayer life. Honestly, um, I had gotten out of the habit of praying before I ate. Um, and it was something that I was sort of sitting with me because like that was a long lasting, long or over time built type of uh, thing that I did, you know, and obviously I pray deeper now. I pray uh, more in the spirit, more in truth, um, now, but that was something that was, uh, part of me as I, I was uh, growing up. And for a period of time, I was living in sin. I was living in the world. I, I'm, I was living as the world does, uh, which I know now is completely wrong, but I was ignorant, um, or just really not discerning or, or, uh, my heart wasn't reciprocative of the love of Christ at that time. Um, but, during that period of time, I'd, I'd gone away from praying uh, before eating. Uh, so that was one thing that I noticed. And I was like, I really want to become better at praying. I want to be able to speak to the Lord, you know, and not be uh, stumbling over my words and not even knowing what to say. Um, so even I've, I've since started to build that habit back. Um, and it wasn't just overnight. It, it, it took, I want to say like a month or so, obviously I wasn't observing at the time, but, uh, it, 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 it took some time to, to, to build through God, you know, through his understanding and strength and actually seeking a relationship with him to where I was praying more diligently. And, and I still, have this desire to become more disciplined in prayer, you know, just be able to, no matter what I'm doing, just be able to take it before the father, keep him in the forefront of my mind and, and just be able to pray and, you know, expand my words and expand my mind, expand my thoughts in order to express myself truthfully and, and wholeheartedly. Um, so that was one of the first things. Um, the next thing is, exercising and working through the fruits of the spirit. Now I long to do this, especially in the time period that I'm in, uh, with me recording these videos, with me working with customers, with me, uh, just talking to other individuals and talking to other people and other people who, and, and people who belong to Christ and just throughout everything. I long to have the, uh, fruits of the spirit with me. Um, no matter what I'm doing, I'm trying to pull it up. Can we, can we get it? Um, and it, the, the, the verse for that, if you want to flip to it, I guess, or, or you see it here, but Galatians 5, 22 to 23, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things. There is no law. And that last part is so like against such things. There is no law. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That word forbearance there um, is in a sense of uh, not withholding, but restraint. Uh, so it's like I almost want to say another uh, version of self-control, just a, just different in, in a sense. I'm not going to pull that up for you. Um, but forbearance was the one that I didn't technically no so i did study and obviously i want to do more studying on the those other fruits and just you know having them written on my heart as well come here all right <laughs> so i also learned of wandering eyes connected to the dot the dake 
I now know this is uh, something that um, I know I'm, I'm not going to put this onto other people. But I know that this is something that I've struggled with and something that I, uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, I've explained more. But I know it, it's something that I've been dealing with for a while. And, uh, you know, um, I'm working through it and I'm, I really understand that the, the eyes are the lamp of the body. Can I get this right? Come on, rock with the kid. Come on, rock with the kid. I'm in a video. All right. Boom. Okay. Uh, I understand that the, the eyes are the lamp of the body. Um, and just like I, I, this is the wandering eyes is what I was calling a lustful or hidey, haughty eyes. Uh, just looking on others as I shouldn't, you know, and looking, I obviously, honestly, on, on women and, I shouldn't do such things. Um, I should have the mind of Christ and anything that is opposed to Christ does not belong in my mind. Um, so you're probably wondering what is the Dadake? Well, why he said the Bible? Um, let's see. Which one should I pull up? So I'm going to, I don't know why it's like tweaking on me right now. Like, oh my goodness, it's not liking me. It hit on them wandering eyes and just started bug out. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, I never had this much trouble beforehand. Move it up. Come on. Boom. Boom. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to put place this right in the middle here. Um, the Dake. Um, the title is the teachings of the 12 apostles. Um, and you could read right there if you want to, you could pause. Um, really the better, the better definition, honestly, is actually in the, uh, text itself. Um, and it's, it's the introduction, honestly, of the, of the whole thing. If it like, what is going on right now? Okay. All right. And so that reads the Dake or the teaching of the 12 apostles is an early Christian text that most scholars date to the first early second century. Um, Dake is a book that all Christians can find profit in scripture weaves through the text, clear teaching, demonstrating why the book was so well loved and appreciated by the holy church, early church. As I was reading this the other day, um, I did pick up the wandering eyes because that it just it makes more sense. And, and when I pray, I do use that term wandering eyes. Um, I felt the spirit uh, resonating as with the text as I was reading it. Um, the Holy Spirit that is. Um, so yeah, that's the Dake. I'm not going to get too much into that um, because it's just a lot. There's a lot to dig into and I haven't read through the whole thing myself, but I, I know the parts that I have read so far were really helpful and influential. Um, now on the topic of prayer, uh, I read earlier, this is James 1. Um, we're not going to read this first part. I just wanted to have that whole thing up for you. A lot of parts, if you like, you can just pause, read, uh, and even study this, uh, video if you may. Um, I don't know how long we're going on, but, uh, we're going to make it a little bit smoother, quicker. Um, but when you ask slash pray, you must believe Oh, I, I'm going to start with uh, verse five. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. But when you pray slash ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. OK. And then for this last part, I'm going to pull up. Oh, my goodness. It's hating today. This last part of the Dadake that I took is really tweaking today. All right. Not took, but like that I took a screenshot of and uh 
I'll let you pause right there. Um, speaks on the two ways. Um, one of life and one of death. Uh, there's a way that seemeth right to a man. Um, that's the verse that that reminds me of. Um, okay. With that being said, I know this one was a little, it was a little tricky, honestly. Um, but we're getting better and better with it. Um, I hope that your day is well. I hope that, um, these videos really help to, um, edify and encourage you, whether that be now, um, then, or in the future. Um, I'm still getting better with things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, October 25th, uh, the 27th day of me recording this series. And I, I just really enjoy making these because I'm going to have all the notes laid out in front of me. And there's so there's so much to share with you guys. Um, as always, you already know, be you. I'll catch you in the next video.